Our next web heroes take nature into their own hands, harnessing the awesome power of the wind to do this. I find it fascinating that really small movements result in such dramatic changes of height and direction. The Soul Flyers are truly in their element at this skydiver area in Prague. But how does a wind tunnel release them from the grip of gravity? They need to be able to create an equilibrium that's going to counteract their weight due to gravity. And the wind has to be strong enough to overcome their weight. This chamber blasts air at up to 165 miles per hour to get the Soul Flyers flying. But how do they pull off these phenomenal flips and turns? If found a surface area that allows the air to push against them and keep them nice and stable roughly in the middle. Now, if they change their size, their shape, their surface area will either get smaller or bigger, and this will vary the amount of air molecules that can push against them. So if they get smaller, if they change their surface area, you know, they might go vertical, there's less area, less space for the air molecules to push against them. So they're going to go down because there isn't as large a force pushing on them. So gravity is going to win that tug of war slightly more. If they make themselves bigger, there's more air molecules pushing against them, and basically they start kind of winning out against gravity, and they go up. They've clearly spent a lot of time in this wind tunnel, because when they leave, they don't just kind of awkwardly float down and walk out. They do a kind of phenomenal spin and land on their feet on the way out, and that's crossing the line. Now they're just showing off. 